The first couple have split from the Love Island 2018 cast and it is Samira and Frankie, but are we really surprised? I don't think so. Hey guys, it's Murad Murad, hopefully you guys are doing well today. So we have unfortunately Samira and Frankie who have a split, they've confirmed it less than 24 hours ago, but we definitely saw this coming because it's been two to three times that Frankie, the idiot, which is definitely what he is, has been caught cheating or attempting to cheat. And it's like, you're both in a couple, even if you don't like each other, you being in a couple is basically for work. You guys can rent it for money, for deals, sponsorships, for everything, but you're not seeing that and you simply want to try and kiss every single girl in the club. It gives you this disgusting image and you know your image is what you need to make that money. So everything, it's been going on since last night. She was trending on Twitter. I was thinking, why is my girl trending? And this is the, the, the tea is that apparently um, her friend Jolie went out with Frankie and then when she left, Frankie obviously wanted her in her room and they were DMing and in the DMs it was going down and it was going down quite crazy to the point where she was like, Key, what are you doing? I'm so hungover. And then it's like, make me two of us, you and Maidstone, come, haha, no, very fucking all right. You got a room for tonight, I mean, when do you check out, get a move on then? And then when Samira finds out that something's gonna go, something's going on, he then blocks that girl. But the DMs are there for screenshots, for evidence, and it actually is quite sad and apparently there were some dirty messages as well, but he would send them and then remove them so that it looks like the conversation, you know, there's some parts missing and there some parts actually were. So, you know, you had that going on and then you had the whole notion of him kissing a girl in a club as well and that was being caught. And then prior to that, he apparently cheated with somebody when she was coming out. And, you know, when she was coming out and we saw them too and we saw them like hugging and kissing by, you know, the airport, we thought, hold on, these two might have been that couple. That might have been that Q couple that Love Island decided to edit out and we were regretting it, thinking, oh no, you know, what a shame. Like, it, 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 we thought the, those people could have been a contenders to win because they apparently were so strong on the outside and so strong on the inside that we didn't see. But also a lot of people were saying that them hugging at the, at the airport was all edited and for the films and cameras and I'm not really surprised. But having said that, I kind of was rooting for them. I think everybody was for a hot minute. And then there was a whole... You know, it got leaked that he got off with somebody and he slept with somebody and then he did it again and apparently with this particular lady at a club he was saying that all of that was for the cameras and then you have these DMs again now of attempting to see somebody. So on the reunion of the show, which I didn't actually watch, but you know, she did express to me that there were some problems or issues, which kind of highlights and confirms that he was attempting or did sleep with somebody when Samira was en route leaving that villa to see him, which is obviously quite sad. So you thought, okay, there's some issues bumping. Samira should have left him there and then. She shouldn't have even been with him, but it is what it is. That's the whole topic of tea. Um, but she clearly continued that journey with him and I feel like she definitely regrets it. I feel like it's a shame and I, what I really do feel like is that she needs to focus on herself. She actually released a statement and said that, that that is what she's going to do, to focus on herself, her work, her endeavours, sponsorships, and that is what you need to be doing. It's a bit of a shame that you are going to be the first couple to be split from the Love Island 2018 cast, but it was definitely most expected because these two do not seem strong at all, clearly from Frankie's judgment and behaviours from when you guys left the villa and were together. It's a bit of an unfortunate shame because you can really tell that Samira is forcing this couple on her Instagram page, forever just holding them, forever saying, oh, you know, he's taking pictures of me like, bro, he's taking pictures of you, but that night he's sleeping with somebody else and it really isn't that deep. Know your worth, that's all I can really say because I feel like Samira is 10, 20, 30 times better than this clown. What are you doing with him? You're much better looking than him. Leave him, get someone better, secure the bag. That's all you need to be focused on right now. Forget you're 21, 22, like where we don't need to be focusing and putting our lives and, and pain into all this love nonsense. Secure the bag, that's what you need to be doing. You could have secured it with him if he was clever enough to realize that but clearly he's not he's dumb and stupid because he's out here trying to be with somebody every single minute when he's meant to be with you and it's meant to be for the entire cameras clearly he's not clever enough anyways so these two have unfortunately split and it is what it is i feel like samira deserves somebody better but we damn well know this girl only likes white guys so you know is she gonna have much luck? Who knows? Because we know black women get it the worst in the dating world and it's an unfortunate shame and it does definitely need to change, but that is the reality of the situation. But do let me know what you guys think of this particular video and do let me know what you guys think of the whole notion of Samira and Frankie. Do you feel like they should have stayed together? Are you happy that Samira left Frankie? What do you guys think of Frankie? I think he's an absolute tool. Do let me know what you guys think. Hit me up in the comment box below. Please subscribe, I would appreciate it. And definitely follow me on Instagram. The deals are all below. Thank you guys for watching and 
if you like this shirt because I damn will love it too. It is from Zara. I have I have a lot of people in the comments below always asking, you know, where to get my clothes from. And I do a lot of menswear blogging on my Instagram, so the deals are all over there. But definitely, if you want to get this, it's from Zara. Only twenty five pounds, and it's and it, and it's pretty good. Definitely holiday attire. But yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll definitely catch you guys soon.